Hey guys, welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Today we'll talk about all the infos we have on Valve's standalone VR headset. Let's head into it. The future of VR headsets. After the release of the expensive, massive, and magnificent Valve Index VR headset in August 2019, what's the next step for Valve's virtual reality headsets? In the meanwhile, the most up-to-date information appears to be coming directly from Valve. Data mining discoveries and patent filings are accumulating to what looks to be an entirely new Valve VR system that includes some sort of integrated wireless networking. A number of sources close to Valve have confirmed to ours that the tale that has been circulating is correct, at least in terms of things currently being created within Valve's offices, even if such products never make it to the market. Also make sure to write your thoughts in the comment section. But VR is growing at an exponential rate faster than everything around it. A new unclear ism. Brad Lynch, a VR industry reporter and creator of a YouTube channel, presented this week's information summary after tracking months of Valve patent filings, along with other developments, on the guise of a device codenamed Deckard, which has been debated in SteamVR's publicly accessible branches since January. The tip was received. Ours confirmed the existence of Deckard, a codenamed device currently being built within Valve's headquarters according to the publication. Lynch's material alludes to many incarnations of this new codenamed headgear, including an upgraded proof-of-concept version mentioned in June, as well as the ability to open a Valve internal menu that brings up two new Steam VR menu options. These choices turn Prism and Standalone System Layer have yet to be meaningfully engaged, therefore their names and purpose are unknown. The second phrase, Standalone, suggests that the device can function without being hooked onto a computer or tracked by Valve's cumbersome Steam VR tracking boxes. The term Standalone refers to Facebook's Oculus Quest platform, which may wirelessly connect to a powerful PC or run applications on its own weaker, built-in hardware. Lynch refers to a DLL, included in public Steam VR file sets. That currently includes calls concerning 160 MHz wireless signals. However, his hypothesis about this doesn't necessarily reveal anything about an impending wireless Valve VR system, since that speed rating corresponds to the Wi-Fi 6 controller used in Oculus Quest 2 headsets. The most enticing reference of Deckard comes from a string discovered by Lynch in a Steam VR Linux ARM binary, which hints at but doesn't confirm some type of processing incorporated into a future Valve VR headset, as opposed to sending calls to a link machine like a gaming PC. Or maybe they're wanting all this stuff to leak out and for me to find it. I mean, these are some really interesting debug commands that they're just throwing in without any encryption. Multiple VR concepts had been in the works. Sources previously informed Ars Technica that Valve had at least two VR headset design prototypes in the works, and that they varied during the concept stage. During the pre-production phase, one prototype design mimicked the Valve Index in terms of requiring a connection to a PC and the existing Steam VR tracking boxes. The other revolved on a built-in CPU a la Oculus Quest, which plans to abandon external tracking boxes in favor of Quest-style inside-out tracking. According to the sources, Valve previously struggled to match the performance of Oculus Quest with any sort of inside-out tracking, and the company hired at least one outside business to work on a competing solution. The effectiveness of such a system might have evolved in the period since Ars heard these stories. Lynch's video attempts to connect the dots of earlier patent filings regarding what may come out in a future Valve VR headset model, and his report is correct in at least one respect, improved optics. According to our sources, the future of VR optics to technology will entail lenses that can be closer to a user's face, and so offer higher performance, better weight distribution, and more pleasant virtual mobility. They imply that Valve is heading in the same path for whatever shape their future headset will take. Neither Lynch's or Ars investigation has uncovered any evidence of Valve preparing an update for a current index headsets through the front trunk or front connector on its face. Valve staff didn't immediately react to Ars Technica's inquiries regarding the Deckard gadget, which is codenamed. Lynch claims this despite Valve's track record for allowing its devoted followers to explore hints within Steam and speculate about what may be coming next. The fact that some of this material has been out in the open since January implies that Valve isn't necessarily going to make a big VR announcement. Furthermore, Valve has already begun devoting manufacturing lines to its Switch-like Steam Deck system, which is likely to be pushed in due to the reality of the current chip scarcity. Adding a new VR system on top of it doesn't seem likely at this early stage. Still, the fact that Valve is developing a small all-in-one PC with an AMD SoC and a default install of Linux corresponds well with Lynch's findings concerning XR Desktop, a virtual desktop environment produced by a Valve-funded developer. Lynch knows that this application environment has gotten changes referring to AMD drivers and SteamOS 3, making the conversation of a Steam Deck SoC into a standalone VR headset that much easier. What do you think about the new Valve VR headset? Will you buy it? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.